On October 14, 1947, Captain Chuck Yeager piloted the Bell X-1, breaking the sound barrier and giving him the nickname, the fastest man alive. 65 years later to the day, at the age of 89, retired Brigadier General Chuck Yeager is back in action as he joins Nellis Air Force Base's 65th Aggressor Squadron to reenact his historic flight. Though breaking the sound barrier is now a common occurrence for pilots, General Yeager's flight paved the way for the modern supersonic technology we use today. See, up until that time, we'd never been able to get above the speed of sound. Problems with controls and stuff like that. And finally, uh, on October the 14th, 47, we succeeded in pushing, pushing through uh, Mach 1 and opened up space to us. During his F-15 flight, General Yeager climbed to nearly 35,000 feet before the real action started. Request a supersonic pass by Edwards going east to west in Abel. Eddie 11 one, one, uh, approved his request. At 10:24, the exact moment of his original feat, General Yeager, flying with Captain David Vinson, once again went supersonic, recreating his groundbreaking achievement and establishing a high point in a fellow pilot's career. There are thousands of pilots out there that would have loved to have had that opportunity. And to be with one of the world's greatest pilots was an absolute honor. And just to live history 65 years later was quite the, quite the experience. After a smooth landing, he returned to the applause of friends, family, and the Nellis support crew who made this memorable flight possible. You know, we've been flying supersonic for 65 years now, and now we're jumping out of airplane supersonic, and that's, that's, uh, that's a testament to the landmark that General Yeager created. After three and a half decades of service, General Yeager's passion for flying wasn't satisfied. He was offered positions by several aircraft companies and was approached by Edwards Air Force Base to serve as a consultant test pilot for just one dollar a year. When they asked me to do that, I said yes, because what I am, I owe to the Air Force, and I stayed with them. From the Bell X-1 to the F-15D Eagle, General Yeager has shaped the Air Force as much as it's shaped his career and his life. Senior Airman Aaron Hauser, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.